It's time for me to get inside of the shipwreck. Oh man, I feel stuck. Welcome to the trailhead. My name is Brian Batchelor, and today we are going to explore the Susquehanna shipwreck here in DuPont, Washington. We still have some snow cover left over from the past couple of days just melting away. So I've stumbled upon this makeshift map of where we are. Last time in the other video, we took this side of the trail, and this is where it says the tunnel for the trail road. We are now over on this side and this inlet right here is where the ship is it is fairly windy so i apologize if it becomes hard to hear me and if you look right over here you'll see the abandoned boat let's go if you have just reached the quarter mile marker congratulations you are not there yet Keep walking straight and keep looking out to the Puget Sound. Line yourself up parallel to the boat. And if you're there, then it's time to take a side trail. If you're not, keep going. The tip that I mentioned is that as you're looking out to the Puget Sound, you keep following the trail and looking for the boat. You want to be parallel next to the boat because if you're not, that means you're taking the wrong side trail and you want to keep going forward or backward. So I'm looking out. And I see, it's probably really hard to see in the video. Let's see if I can adjust it. There's beach right here, which means that I'm taking the right side trail and this is the one to go on. So let's go. So I am grabbing the rope and following it down because I am not better than the rope and safety is the number one priority when we go hiking. Be careful if you run down because there is a railway right here with active trains going on it all the time. You just don't want to get hit by a train. Be careful when running down if that's what you decide to do. When you cross the tracks, there is another hill you have to go on that is equally if not more steep before you can get to the sandbar. And there is also a rope, so look out for it. The hill we just came down is no joke. It is pretty steep even with the rope. A fun fact about this boat is it's only accessible on low tide. Essentially, all you have to do is Google tide charts, find the date that you want to go, and you'll get this really cool chart that I'm going to whip out of my pocket real quick. Kabam! Looks like that. And it'll tell you exactly where the low tide is at what time. And according to this chart, it's at 3 o'clock. It's almost 3 o'clock right now, so we can actually access the boat. And there she be, off in the distance. Once again, I apologize for the wind noise. We are now beginning our journey across the sandbar to the boat. It's quite nerve-wracking to see waves crashing on shore. But thanks to my handy-dandy tide chart, they should inevitably be going out and not in. So I can trust entering this without being stranded. We're gonna try to enter it now. Safe or recommended, but we technically did it. Oh man, I feel stuck. <laughs> okay, we're in. Might have cut my jacket. This is where we enter the boat. Here's the other side of it. And over there, there's a ladder. Here is the other side of the shipwreck. Or, <laughs> or remain to be a ladder in a seaport. Or just a... Uh, Throw her foot on there and peek out. Here's the porthole we came up on. Here is the sandbar that we walked across. Starting the hike way over there on that giant hill. Here are the lovely cameras watching us as we enjoy this boat. I'm sure I'll be on a PowerPoint. 
PowerPoint presentation at Sub City Board Council in DuPont. Hello, if you're watching this. We're up! Time to sail across the seas. This boat will not be stopped by anything. Not even a sandbar. So be very careful when climbing this boat. This is covered in algae. And if you just want to use slip off of it so badly. Here's that side that I said is inaccessible, just full of sand. But I climbed the other side just for you guys. Just so you guys can see. tide chart was either wrong or we're past our time because the waves are definitely going past where it started so it's time to go i think we've done enough exploring of this boat and i think it's time to head back to the car i know the saddest part of the video and of the hike but we must go because the conditions out here are too severe time to go